Hi everyone, it's Priya again on Feathers and Ferns and you all are welcome. Today I'm going to do a tag and I'm going to call these tags as uh, letters in the attic. So this is going to be a very vintagey, uh, as if a letter bundle is stacked together kind of tag. So the first thing I have is a cereal box tag which I have prepared already and I'm covering this tag in a um, tea dyed paper. Once that is done, I am going to trim off all the excess paper. And I stuck this tea dyed paper on the stack using PVA glue. So that is done and this tag looks quite prepared now. Now I am going to start working on this tag. The first thing I have is this stem. This is a very French script kind of stem as if it is a letter and I am going to use black ink for it and I am stamping all around this tag. The crown of this tag is ready now. Then I have this uh, distress ink in vintage photo This by Tim Holtz and I am uh, going to ink all around this tag in it because I want to give this tag a very old vintage look so i am inking it a bit heavily here embellishing this tag now the first thing i have is this vintage postcard it has a bit of scribbling on it but that's fine because anyways this tag is uh, this postcard is going to be covered then i have this uh, vintage postcard it has got this very nice um, handwritten script both these elements this postcard as well as that written postcard both of them are original ephemera they both are quite old and i got them from a vintage store so just to enhance the edges i am inking both of these again using distress ink in vintage photo so i'm inking the edges of both of these and once that is done i have this another letter this also is from flea market i got this letter it's an old letter and i really like the script so i i kept it with me so i'm just going to fold it number of times as if it looks like it is a crumpled old letter and once that is done i'm going to ink it again using distress ink uh, in vintage photo so i'm inking it all over just to make it look as if it is super duper old i also tore it few times just little bit on the edges just so that it looks old and crumpled and neglected <laughs> elements i prepared now i want to stack them on top of each other so that it looks like these three are piled up together in a bundle so before i glue them i want to use a bit of cardboard from recycled cereal box i want to use this cardboard between the two postcards just to give it a bit of dimension So now these two postcards are glued together and now I want to paste this letter on top of it, the letter that I had just distressed. So I'm using PVA glue for everything and I also I'm going to glue this glue between, put glue between all the folds of this letter so that this letter does not come off. Coming together quite nicely. So after this step, once three of these things are together, these all three of them are vintage ephemera, original ephemera. Then I have a few of these elements from uh, Maya paper, Maya design. I'm going to put link to this paper in the description box below. So I want to use a few of these elements also here. So I decided to use these two and I'm going to uh, ink them as well in vintage photo distress ink. And then I will uh, glue them on top of this thing.
decided to use a third element here for the for a final focal point and i am inking it again using the same vintage photo distress ink and it goes there using uh, pva glue and now everything looks stuck together i am going to tie twine around it i am wrapping this twine around this bundle two three times just to give it a look as if all these letters and these photos and these elements are tied together in a bundle using a jute twine So this uh, little bundle of letters is ready and I want to put this whole thing on top of my tag but before I glue it on the tag I decided to use some washi on the tag on the background of the tag so I have this very vintage looking washi tape and I'm just using this on top of the tag just to give a bit of interest in the background. Also, I wanted to glue a uh, tea dyed paper on the back of the tag to get some writing space. I don't want to do the same mistake of gluing it in the end when everything is done. Then it becomes a bit difficult to trim off the edges. So I'm doing it now. I'm, I'm just putting tea dyed paper and trimming off all the excess paper. So once that is done my tag is my tag's background is 100% ready and I want to have that uh, bundle of letters prepared I want to uh, stick that on my tag but uh, instead of sticking it directly I want to give it a bit of dimension so I decided to use some uh, cardboard scraps I will glue them on the back of this um, letter bundle and this will just help me get a bit of dimension and I will use PVA glue all around it, all, all over these um, cardboard pieces. And then I will uh, glue it on the tag. So that is how this tag looks so far. I am happy with how it is turning out it looks quite old and vintagey and it has a lot of uh, texture and dimensions to it so to make this tag look more vintage and authentic i decided to use some wax seal so i'm melting this wax on top of the tag and once that is done i will stamp it with the seal i have i'm trying to do this step very quickly because i want to stamp it um, put my seal on top of this wax before the wax gets cold and it really is very windy and cold i'm working outside in the garden and i don't want this wax to solidify before i have stamped it so i'm just waiting for it to set completely and now it is set and i'm removing it and i'm happy with the impression so once that is done i just want to Put a little bit of patina i have this copper patina and i'm just putting it using my finger on top of the seal just to highlight it this tag looks complete now i punched a hole on top of the tag and i'm taking this jute twine and i'm wrapping it a number of times and then i will put it on top of the tag in that hole So this tag is done please let me know what you think of this tag or if you like the tutorial i made two more similar tags off camera 
I did the same technique of layering a lot of elements on top of each other to give a look of an antique letter bundle. So guys, this was today's tutorial. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know through your comments and thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.